Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Snappy Box. And today we will talk about something serious. Specifically we will talk about how to not get scammed when you arrive to Russia. But please don't get me wrong, Russian people are friendly. But there is a Russian saying, предупрежден значит вооружен. It means if you are warned, then you have a weapon to resist. So as a foreigner, you will be an easy target for some Russian scammers. You, you can encounter them almost everywhere. For example, when you arrive to Moscow, Sheremetyo airport, you will be approached by the taxi drivers who will try to offer you their services. But if you will pay close attention, you will notice that don't, they don't have any price tags on them or they're just saying, okay, take me, take me for the ride. If you take them, you will pay at least two or maybe even three times higher than you would normally pay. So in this case, I would suggest you to take a taxi from the app, your favorite app. It can be Uber, it can be Yandex Taxi. It's up to you. Maybe you even rent in the car, like a car sharing would be a better solution. Another example on like, let's say everyday scam is a price tag scam, let's call it. In some stores, usually it's like smaller stores, but you can also encounter it in bigger groceries. You may notice that the price tag that you see on a shelf is quite different from the price tag that you're being charged at the cash desk. If you're buying, like, let's say you're buying bread, you see the price tag on the shelf, it's 100. When you go to the cash desk, they're saying it's 150. And if you ask them, I personally uh, was victim to that scam several times. Um, when you're asking them, well, what is the difference? Why it's like that? They're just saying, we didn't have time to update the price tag, but the, it's already like this in our system. So either you take it or not. So if you don't know Russian and you're a foreigner, it would be quite complicated for you to confront the cash desk lady, right? So the only way is actually to leave that, that item that you picked and, and go. So it's quite irritating. So just pay close attention to those things. Another one quite common scam. Actually, foreigners who are coming to Russia not completely officially. For example, they're using a tourist visa instead of the working visa. They're falling for this scam quite often. I call this scam modern slavery. In short, just like, um, let's say someone comes to Russia without the proper documents and looking for employment, unofficial employment. And of course, there will be a lot of people who are willing to take advantage. So they will approach that person and they will promise to that foreigner that you will work for me for one month and I will pay you a good salary. After two months, I will pay you even more. After three months, there will be bonus payments and you will earn a lot and you will go home a rich person. But in real life, there will be no contract signed, no documents whatsoever. Some people are even losing the passport to those employers because employers saying that they need to take the passport from, from you to complete some formalities. But in fact, they're just keeping, keeping their passports and they're not paying their salaries. They're just giving them a place to live. They're giving them food, but they're not paying them anything. So I call it modern slavery and it's very hard to escape from this situation because um, people are uh, like thinking I was already working and therefore one month or two months or ha for half a year. So if I leave now, I will have no money at all. So I was working for nothing. And they just tend to believe to that unhonest employer that eventually the money will be there. Some problems that, that someone is not paying them. Their contractors is failing them, but multiple reasons. But in fact, this is the kind of abusive people who are using free labor and using people who doesn't have documents official working visa to their advantage. So the solution to this problem actually to complete all the paperwork if you're planning to I, I, I do not recommend to work unofficially because in Russia it can be dangerous. So my advice is to sign the labor contract 
make sure your salary is indicated in that contract everything is official all the payments are official then you will be able to defend yourself if you choose by any chance to work unofficially which again i don't recommend make sure you know the person you're working for and you trust him 200 percent that he will not scam you and lastly this scam becoming more popular nowadays during these pandemic times some people are appearing on the network and the internet and they're given promises that they cannot fulfill specifically promises about visa invitations about visas to enter the russia during the lockdowns about the permanent residence that they can give the residents no matter if you have any legal grounds for this be aware of those people most likely they will take the money and disappear in some cases they will give forged documents that looks like real but it's just like printed printed at home some of them will literally send you the documents but you will not be able to use it because of the lockdowns for example they can send a visa invitation in some unofficial ways but if you go to the embassy they will just refuse because you don't have any legal grounds to get the visa even you have an invitation if you have any questions to that law firm or fake attorney or whatsoever they will just say no just read the contract you say you signed with us all we had to do just to give you the consultation for two thousand dollars that all our obligations that we fulfilled so don't believe in fairy tales double check all the information you're getting there are numbers of ways you can do it you can check the official website of russian embassies you can subscribe to our channel because we will be posting valuable information you can join our group facebook group so you will be prepared and that's it for today and i hope you learned something